Good morning, first grade. Today, the sun is really shining on me. There's an angel looking after me today. Um, today, boys and girls, I am not going to start off with reading a book to you because we have a lot of tests to take. So I'm going to orally, that means I'm going to read them to you. If you have a piece of paper, um, you can get that out with a pencil and you can write down your answers. Um, Why I go over it's science and it's religion. I am going to review your spelling words and everything else today also. So let's start out with a little prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, please look down on us. Guide us, help us, protect us, keep us happy, healthy, and safe in mind, body, and spirit. Please bless my little first graders who I miss so much and bless their families. We love you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So yesterday, boys and girls, we learned that there are letters that are silent. So the WR, when you see those together, the W is silent. I'm going to go get my board so you guys can see it. Okay, can you see that right there? Here we go. So we have the WR, the KN, and the GN. When they go together, that second, that first word, that first letter is silent. So you have the word not, new, no, knife. And on the other side, you have been, right. As a Swanigan's doing this backwards, wrong, cause and dawn. And then the words that you're going to read are children, question, there, month, and year. We're reviewing those words, right boys and girls? Good job. Okay. Also, we're talking about special pronouns this week. We've learned what a pronoun is. It takes the place of a noun. It's like he, she, it, we, they. A special pronoun, boys and girls, is the word somebody, anybody, nobody. They, they are considered pronouns, okay? Um, we know about the commas and the date. You separate the two numbers in your letters after your heading and then when you sign off your letter, right? Realistic fiction is something that can happen, but did it happen? It did not happen. It's not a true story. A plot is something that happens First, next, and last, right? It's, it's what happens within the story. It's something really exciting that might happen in the story. Cause and effect. You guys remember this because we've been doing it all year. Something happens because of something else, right? The theme of the story is the one sentence that can tell you what the whole story is about, okay? It's the lesson in the story sometimes. And then the simile is when you compare two things using the words like or as. Um, I could say Declan is like a fox if he's sly. Um, Declan's hands are as hard as a rock. Something like that. Okay, that's a simile. Um, you're going to be reading your story from your anthology book. It's called Rain School, and it's on page 297, and it goes all the way to 302. Okay, you're going to do the questions at the end, and then on our Zoom, I'll go over all that with you. Okay? And I'll read that story to you again. Um, so today, I'm going to ask you guys to pray. You're going to pray an asking prayer with your family. So at dinner time or at bedtime. An asking prayer, a telling prayer, and a thankful prayer. Okay? Do three different prayers with your family. You can go around the room and everybody can do one or you can just do it. But have your family listen in on you. Let them know what's in your heart. Today's art, so Mrs. McLean will be sending us out something, hopefully, that would be exciting. Um, last week was so fun drawing those rockets. Um, math, boys and girls, I know math is getting really hard. Believe me, it's hard for us here. What I'm gonna tell you is next week, we're gonna start doing a little bit more Zoom classes. And one of our Zoom classes is gonna be just for math review. Um, right now, you're learning how to add or subtract from 20. I want you guys just to know your facts. I talked to Mrs. Kuha, just know your facts. We will review and figure out how to get the tens. If you're, if you're having a hard time with that, I say use Cheerios, get to 10, and then see how many more you have to count to get to that end number, 
okay? If you can't do it and your mind is going crazy, do not worry about it. Mrs. Fl Mrs. Flanagan will go over it with you in a Zoom, but also um, Mrs. Ray is gonna be doing a study session also, so you will get it, don't worry about it, okay? Just try to do the subtraction facts, okay? All right, so, and you're going to get your books at St. Anne's this week. The new books came in and they're outside. So make sure you go get those books, okay? Um, they're out where we do recess by the dumpsters, by the, the teacher's door. So just go, you'll see a bunch of books. Okay, so let's do um, religion, okay? I want you guys to get a piece of paper and a pencil. And I'm going to read number one. And you don't have to do it out loud, I mean on your pencil, paper if you don't want to, you can just listen and answer. Okay, the words we're gonna fill in the blanks with are sin, Eucharist, Gospels, Last Supper, and Savior, okay? Number one, Jesus is the Son of God. He is our, what is he? Is he our sin, Eucharist, Gospels, Last Supper, or Savior? That's right, he's our Savior. The meal that Jesus shared with his friends on the night before he died is called, you guys all know this one, the Last Supper. Good job. Number three, the holy meal that Jesus shares with us at Mass, the things that we eat, and you're going to be receiving your first one next year, is the, what? Is it the sin, the Eucharist, Gospels, Last Supper, or Savior? It is the Eucharist. Good job. When we choose to do something that we know is wrong, we, what is that called? We sin, right? And then the good news about Jesus is in the four what? What is that thing that we learned? Is it the four sins, Eucharist, Gospels, Last Supper, or Savior? It is the Gospels. Good job. Okay, this time, you guys are just going to tell in your minds or on paper, whatever you want, I'm going to read a description and you're going to tell me who it is. Your choices are Mary, Catherine Drexel, Joseph, Gabriel, or Zacchaeus. So Native Americans learned about Jesus from who? Who started a school for girls? Was it Mary, Catherine Drexel, Joseph, Gabriel, or Zacchaeus? That's right. It was St. Catherine Drexel. Good job. The angel that God sent with good news to Mary was who? It was Gabriel. Good job. The mother of Jesus, or of God's son, Jesus, is who, everybody? It's Mary. Good job. The man who told Jesus that he was sorry that he cheated anyone was who? It was Zacchaeus, right? He was the tax collector, and he did say sorry, and he meant it for stealing people's money. Okay, Mary's husband was who, everybody? He was Joseph. This son is really blinding me. Okay, and the last thing, here we go. So you're gonna, com you're gonna complete my sentence that I say um, with the letter, well, I mean with the word, ready? The words are God's law, mercy, pray, temple, or tabernacle. Jesus prayed with his family in the where? Where did he go do that? He did it in the temple, right boys and girls? And then after Mass, the Eucharist is kept in the, that gold thing at St. Anne's Church, is the tabernacle, right? Good job. And then God's loving forgiveness is called what? Mercy, right? That's loving. That's when God forgives us. Okay. Um, Jesus wants us to obey God's laws. Good job. And then we can blank anywhere and anytime. He can pray. Good job. So when you get a chance today, you guys, I can't see you guys at all. We could, um, you can draw yourself praying, okay? You can do that if you want to, if you have time, okay? All right, so that's for religion, and now we have science. Now you guys do need a piece of paper and a pencil, okay? This is our unit four. We're done with plants now. It says, two things from soil that help a plant grow are water and what? Is it a leaf? Is it nutrients? Or is it roots? What do you think it is? You need water, and so, does, so do humans. 
it's nutrients, right boys and girls? So if you wrote nutrients or you thought it was nutrients, nutrients is N-U-T-R-I-E-N-T-S. It's a long word. Nutrients. And just spell it however way you want to. Okay, number two. A plant is held in place by its what? What holds it into the ground? Is it a leaf or roots? It's roots. Good job. R-O-O-T-S. Roots. Number two is roots. Good job. And number three, the plant part that makes food. So which part of the plant makes the food? It's the leaf. Good job. L-E-A-F. Leaf. Good job. Give yourselves a round of applause. Good job. Okay. Now, these are just letters you're going to write, not words, okay? How are an apple and a pine cone alike? A, they both are fruits. B, they both hold seeds. Or C, they both grow on the same kind of tree. Which one do they both hold? They both hold seeds. Good job. That's B. So number four is B. Good job. Number five. How could you find out if plants need light to live? You grow two plants and give both plants water? No. You grow two plants and you give one of the plants light, right? Yes, that would be a good idea. Or you grow two plants and give only one of them water. Well, we're not trying to compare water, we're trying to compare light. So it would be B, number five would be B, right? This is a good test, right? Number six. Pebbles start it or sort it leaves. Which picture shows one group? I'm going to show you. Um, it says which which um, choice best describes how she sorted it. Did she sort these by size, by shape, or by number? Can you see that? How did she sort them? By size, right? They're all the same size, right? So, which of these plants is part part? Which one? Were, wait, which of these plant parts is a kind of stem? An apple, a tree trunk, or a pine needle? Which one's the stem? The big, thick stem. It's the tree trunk. Good job. And that would be B. Number eight. A plant needs more space to grow. Which would you give the plant? Which would give the plant more space? Giving it more water, putting more plants around it, or pulling the weeds around it? Yes, pulling the weeds around it. Number nine, which plant part does number three show? And number three is showing this down here. See it? What is that? Are they, is that a leaf A, B stem, or C, roots. It is roots. Good job. We're almost done. Number 10. How are plants different from animals? Plants need water and air. Plants need space to grow. Or plants make their own food. Yes, they make their own food. Good job. What kind of stem do shrubs have? The little shrubs, remember? Green stems, soft stems, or woody stems? Woody stems. We just learned that last week. Good job. Um, let me see. Then it says, um, what does these? What do these plant parts do? A flower. So right now you should be thinking a flower makes seeds, right? The fruit. The fruits actually hold the seeds. Did you guys know that? Yes, you did. And then the seeds make new plants. So they're the three really important jobs, okay? Um, if you have a plant that looks yucky and it looks like it's not doing well and it's sagging over and it's turning brown, how do you know that their needs are not being met? How do you know that? The plant doesn't look happy, right? It looks really sad. What do you think the plant needs? It needs more water and more sunlight, right? Yeah, absolutely. 
but sometimes Mrs. Flanagan overorders them as we know in the classroom, right, boys and girls? So today was an awesome day. Good job. Um, remember to keep doing AR, epic, um, and make sure you guys do your freckle math, okay? All right, and then remember, when you're done schoolwork for the day, writing is so important. Write in a journal, write about your day, write about your night, write about something that makes you happy, something that makes you sad, anything, just write. It will help you guys. All right, see you tomorrow.